Who gets priority on buses is the subject of a case being heard by appeal court mm. judges at the High Court after a wheelchair user in Leeds was denied access to a bus because a mum with a pushchair refused to move. We have been inundated with messages mm. on this. 2,000 responses since we've been discussing this this morning and we'll talk about it a little bit uh, in just a couple of moments. But first, Vanessa Francis has been out to see exactly how much of a struggle buses can be when you have a buggy. It's that one bit of bus real estate that wheelchairs, buggies and standing passengers all have to share. But one thing parents will agree on is that travelling with a buggy can be a bother. How would you describe bus travel with a buggy? I find it really stressful. I have seen people nearly come to blows over who is going to get that space. This is Maria and her two-year-old daughter, Neve. It's just too hard, I've found every single time I've got a problem. Despite her misgivings, Maria agreed to board a bus for us. In the meantime, we chatted to other waiting parents. Sometimes it's crowded and then people have to move. Obviously, as a pushchair user, you give up the space for a wheelchair user. That, that goes without saying. So what was that journey on the bus like just now? Well, it wasn't straightforward, so there was a couple of us wanting to get on the bus. We had to leave one lady with a push chair at the, the bus stop. There were lots of children, lots of them standing in the buggy area. When I got on the next bus, he didn't give me time to park up, put the brake on, so I fell into the, the side. It's a child that I nearly trod on. Um, it wasn't, wasn't fun. Well, joining us now is actress Storm Toulis and parenting coach, coach B Marshall. Good morning to you both. Yeah, uh, yeah. Give us a picture of the sort of experience you have in London when you try and get on a bus, in London's where you live. Well, um, when I try and get on a bus, obviously, um, it's usually quite difficult. There are always a lot of prams and stuff. It's about being a considerate passenger. The truth is the wheelchair users have priority over the buggies. I mean, whether that practically happens on an everyday basis is a very different thing. I mean, the amount of buses that I've gone past and some just drive straight past me, some's ramps don't work, some of the women will refuse to move. Um, but I mean, it's, it's so, yeah, I would say, yeah, it's difficult, but it's just part of something you, you have might, to deal you with. You might meet Carly, who's tweeted us to say, uh, you know, fair enough if the bus is empty and mums can move, but what about when the bus is full? Are we then expected to get off? She says that's hardly fair. Well, I, th I think it is fair because the sale people do have priority, but the same. At the same time, it's not a nice thing to ask a mother to move. Mm. But the truth is, we want to get somewhere else, but someone else does.